welcome back and if you're new welcome my name is Nikki I hope that you will consider subscribing I upload four days a week Tuesday Thursday Saturday Sunday so hit subscribe and the bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads this video I'm just gonna take you throughout my day and show you what I've been eating on the keto diet if you don't know what keto is let me quickly tell you I know what it is but I want to explain to you in the professional way so I'm reading off of thecut.com the keto diet is an eating plan that consists of 80% fat and little to no carbohydrates. So staples of the keto diet are fish, meat, eggs, dairy, oils, and green vegetables. I personally don't eat dairy, so I don't eat that. Um, pasta, rice, other grains, potatoes, and fruits are strictly prohibited. So in a quick rundown, that's what the keto diet is. Quickly, the reason I started doing this, give you a little bit of background, I ran the marathon in March, the LA marathon, and I gained the most weight I have ever weighed in my entire life. You think it would be the opposite when you're running, you're doing so much cardio, training for a marathon, you think I would lose a lot of weight. I was eating all the wrong things, things I was allergic to, a lot of carbs. Um, so I gained a lot of weight. The, the heaviest I've ever been in my life was the day I ran the marathon. So I wanted something to kickstart my body into losing that weight that I put on. So I tried the keto diet and it has been amazing for me, amazing. Um, I've been doing it for two weeks now and I've just lost a lot of weight. Um, I also mix it with intermittent fasting. If you guys want a video on that, I'd be happy to show you that. I also eat vegan three days a week. So if you want a video on that and what I eat in a day with that, a lot of you thought I was vegan full time. I'm not, I just do it three days a week. I can explain that whole situation in another video. I wanna jump into what I eat in a day. I've been talking for two minutes. I know some of you, like my regulars, this is not your cup of tea, but most of you, like a lot of you have been DMing me on Instagram saying, can you do a video on it? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna show you throughout the day what I eat. And I love watching these because it gives me ideas of what I can make for myself on this diet. Um, some of the recipes I'm gonna show you in this video, I didn't create, I just found them on YouTube. So if this is not your cup of tea, there'll be another beauty video coming in about a day and a half. I post Tuesday, Tuesday Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. But if it is your cup of tea, let's go. All right, friends, it is currently 5.52 a.m. and I've just finished making breakfast. I'm not going to bore you with how I made this. I will leave a link to it. I took photos. The reason I have it on this fluffy rug that's stained with makeup, it's a, not a rug, it's a um, like comforter duvet thing, is because I took blog photos of it as I made it, so I won't bore you with the recipe. If you want the exact recipe, it's on the blog, NikkiBeautyBliss.com. I'll put it on the screen. It always sounds like I'm saying Nikki Booty Bliss. I just woke up like 40 minutes ago, friends. It's Nikki Beauty Bliss, just like my YouTube channel. I took photos of it. The exact recipe is on the blog. Um, most keto people, the only fruit they'll have are blueberries because they're like, not blueberries, actually blackberries because they're the lesser of the sweeter fruits. Some people do no fruits at all. I'm like, come on, I can have seven dang blueberries a couple times a week. So you can leave out the blueberries if you want. But um, yeah, it's my little breakfast bowl that I've been having every morning. It's way too early to eat this right now since it's only like 6 a.m. I'm Since I'm doing intermittent fasting, I would start eating between 9 and 10. So what I do is I just, this is like a little Tupperware bowl. I put this on. It's kind of messed up because I've had it forever. And then I take it to work. So, and then I'll eat at 10 a.m. And that's breakfast. Okay, time check. It's currently 7.45 a.m. There's Mr. Coco. I'm about to go into um, a meeting, but I wanted to show you guys. I actually just did a little sneak peek on my Instagram story. So I'm about to take this shot. If you follow me on Instagram, link down below. I'm always posting like, you know, what I'm doing throughout the day, what I'm eating. So if you're interested in keto stuff as it happens, Instagram stories is the place to find me. But I'm about to take this shot. And this I actually got when I went to Creation Juice. It's a juice bar slash restaurant here in LA. It's a little bit pricey. Like this shot it's called a syringe, but come on, it's just a shot of green juice. It was like seven bucks or ten bucks, and then I also have, um, let me see. I also have a green juice that I bought from them that I'm gonna finish. So this is apple, cucumber, romaine, kale, and pear. So I'm gonna have that, and then I'm gonna have this before I have breakfast at ten. So this one it says has activated silicone, which I was like, what? Boron, zinc, 50 shades of green, and orange juice. 
And you're supposed to just basically take it like a shot. Does that say sexy? That's funny. Supposedly, this is good for hair, nails, and skin. So, okay. I'm going to go have this before my meeting, and then I'll have breakfast. All right, friends. Hours later now. It's now 12.53. It's lunchtime. I'm back in my car. This salad looks gross, but I'm hoping it tastes better than it looks. I just stopped at a salad place. Ah, eh, I don't look that crazy. So basically I have a bunch of meetings today. So that's why I, breakfast, I was in the car. Lunch, I'm in the car. I'm in between meetings. And then for dinner, I think I'm going to do zucchini noodles with turkey meatballs. I think that'll be good. So you guys, I'm trying this new brow product. Um, who is this from? I think it's Ardell. I have to show you when I get home. When I left my, for work, my boyfriend was like, whoa, you've got some powerful brows today. I was like, do I? He's like, yeah, like Frida Kahlo style. Did I say her name right? And now that I'm looking at myself in the camera, I'm like, holy shot. Those brows are crazy. That It's really awesome. Like it does not budge. It's like it's planted into my brow. But man, you have to be very light-handed with it. I'll show you guys it when I get to when I get home. I kind of like it, but I think I went overboard cuz you guys know, if you don't know, I like thick brows. I don't like really thin brows, but I think even for me this might be a little too painted on. Okay, so I'm going to eat. I'm starving. And I'll see you for dinner. This actually looks crazy now that I'm looking at it in camera. All right, so dinner's almost done. Meatballs are in the oven. You can probably hear them simmering. I'm making zucchini noodles. This is an amazing alternative to actually eating pasta. I like it. Some people like it. They hate it. I say try it. I got this spiralizer off of Amazon. It's really, really affordable. I think it was under 20 bucks. It's not like the best quality. It's kind of rickety like you hear it. It's all plastic, but... This thing has lasted me two years and it makes so many different like noodles. It can, um, it makes like, makes spiral noodles like this and then they give you two other cutter things that can make other stuff. I highly recommend this, especially if you're trying to do low carb, you wanna eat more veggies. It's just a fun way to prepare, prepare your vegetables. So I'm doing spiral because I'm gonna have like zucchini noodles with meatballs. So. Once I spiralize them, this is how it works. I can't show you because my boyfriend's not here. So I can't show you how it works. But essentially, I have this on my IGTV. I talk about Instagram all the time. Instagram has this new feature where you can upload 60-minute videos if you want to. So I uploaded a video of me using this. So if you want to see that, you basically just push this in. The noodles come out this way. Um, and these noodles, zucchini has a lot of water in it. So what I do is I sprinkle it with a little bit of salt and let them sit for like 10 minutes and that salt will draw the moisture out. So then when you cook it, they're not so wet. It took me like a year to learn that because when you cook these, they produce a lot of moisture and then it just kind of tastes wet. So that's tip from me to you. If you've tried these and you really didn't like them and they just kind of taste moist, <laughs> put some salt on them, actually a lot of salt. Let it sit for like 10 minutes, even 20 if you can. It'll draw all that moisture out and then you just um, like pat down the noodles so there's no salt. Or you can lightly rinse them off. Don't put, don't put too much water because you don't want to add more moisture. So noodles are almost done. Dinner's almost done. Thank God because I'm hungry. I'll show you all the right. finish. Dinner is finally served. It may not look that great, but I am so excited. Veggie noodles, zucchini noodles. That looks like Parmesan cheese. It's actually vegan, gluten-free, faux Parmesan cheese, turkey meatballs, easy peasy. It actually takes a while for me to create, create, to make those zucchini noodles. So if you're gonna do this, I recommend, like I usually make them in batches. Like I'll just make a bunch of zucchini noodles and eat them throughout the week because if you do it per meal, it's just, I'm tired. It's like six o'clock. You guys saw, I've been up since five. That was a lot of work but I can't wait to eat it. Gluten-free, keto, vegan dinner. Yum. Coco, how do you feel about that? Are you happy? When are you gonna eat dinner? He's like, Mom, just shut up and eat your food or give me some. <laughs> I forgot to mention, friends, part of the reason we was working out. So I am at the gym. Sorry to smoke me just I just started. Here we go.
All right, quickly, let's do some product reviews. If you're new around here, I do this at the end of all of my videos. I show you products I've been using, any new PR I've got sent. Um, let me know your thoughts on this video. Do you wanna see more keto stuff? Do you not? I know some of you don't. I know that. I know for some of you, you're just like, girl, I don't wanna see that. But I think a lot of you do. Because on Instagram, I've been posting um, like recipes I've been eating. If you want more behind the scenes, follow me on Instagram. I post on Instagram stories daily. I'm trying to start posting on Instagram like my actual feed daily, and I'm getting better at it. I'm very proud of myself. But Instagram stories like behind the scenes, me, my boyfriend, my family, my friends. I post a lot of my keto stuff on there. So if you want to see that stuff, link down below for Instagram. Let's jump into it. First up. I showed you guys a very embarrassing footage of me trying the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Cap System. I will put that footage in now, do not judge. I have no makeup on, no wig on. So the way this works is after you've washed your hair, you put the conditioning treatment in your hair, massage it, and then you put the cap. There's a cap that comes with each little packet and you leave it on and it deep conditions your hair. And my hair just felt really soft, moisturized. I really like this. Everything I've tried from Briogeo, I am a big fan of and their stuff's a little expensive. This was sent to me by Briogeo for free, but like their shampoo, they also sent me, it's the exfoliating shampoo. They sent me that for free. I blew through that because I loved it. And now I'm addicted and it's like 40 bucks, but it is so worth it. If you suffer from dandruff or buildup, or you just want your hair to be extremely clean, I really recommend that shampoo. It's interesting. It doesn't have any of the harmful stuff like the chemicals, the sulfates, all that stuff, but it doesn't lather. So at first I was like, I don't think I'm gonna like this, but my scalp and my hair was so clean. I love it. Real Techniques. This is the Real Techniques Prep and Prime set. I have been using this. I just put it back in here because I want you guys to see how pretty and clean it is. This is so cool. So it's a brush set to use for things to prep your skin and your lips before you do your makeup. So there's a lip scrub brush in here. There's a dry brush um, exfoliating brush. There's a brush to use for your moisturizer or your primer. I really love it and it's supposed to like just keep your hands off your face to keep everything hygienic. And I really like the under eye reviver. That's the one with the little ball on it. So you can use it with your eye cream and it helps to really push the products into the skin. I don't know if it does that, but it just feels nice. And I like the way it feels. You guys know I love Real Techniques. Speaking of Real Techniques, I've also been using their sculpting brush. Um, it's They say you can use it to contour. I don't really contour my face that often, but I do contour my nose every day. What else did I use this for? I think I actually used it to apply highlight because you guys know I'm not the best at applying highlight, but I love Real Techniques. They're one of my favorite brush brands. They're affordable. They last for years. This is so soft. Oh my God, I just love Real Techniques. Real Techniques, if you ever want to sponsor me or add me to your PR list, I would love it because I love you guys. Um, next up, I actually have this on right now. Where's the box for it? I don't know. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. It's oil-free, SPF 20. I have it on, this is the shade Mocha, and this is the deepest shade I could find. I have it on under my eyes right now, you guys. I think I might actually be able to get away with putting this on my face, because I put it on under my eyes, and I was like, it's too dark. So maybe, I don't know, right now next to my face it looks like, girl, you cannot get away with that. But I really like the coverage. So I have it on under my eyes and for a tinted moisturizer, this gives amazing coverage and it just kind of sinks into the skin. So I'm gonna try and actually put it all over my face. It might be too light, especially for summertime, but I think this might work for winter. So I don't know, I'm gonna try it. If any of you have tried this, let me know. I love the way it feels. Also speaking of Laura Mercier, we have their, where is their highlighter? I have it on right now, here it is. This is the highlighter and this is the shade Indiscretion and they also sent it with their fan brush. I put this on in my most recent video. What video is that? Oh, my vlog, learning to fly the drone. How are we enjoying that vlog? I'm getting better about um, flying the drone. I flew the drone over the Grand Canyon. I actually did vlog that, my mom vlogged it for me. So if that vlog is up, I'll leave a link to it down below. If not, it's coming soon. I think I'm gonna call it like mother-daughter trip or something, because I took my mom to the Grand Canyon for her birthday, and we had a ball. I really like this highlight, and I'm getting better about applying highlight, friends. I'm getting better, it's gorgeous. Love that, and they also sent the fan brush to go with it. By the way, all this stuff was sent to me for free. I tell you guys that I'm so hot. This wig is so itchy. It's like 80 degrees in Los Angeles. I don't have the air on right now. 
itchy wig and heat do not go. Um, everything was sent to me for free. All this stuff was PR. But it's not sponsored. I can tell you whether I like it or I don't like it. What else did I want to tell you about? Mm, is that it? Is that all there is? Um, oh, this staring right at me in the face. You guys know I love, you know I love Clarins. I've been using Clarins for years. I love their lip oils, their lip stains, their sunscreen. This is their broad spectrum SPF 50. This is a moisturizer. It's anti-wrinkle control and sunscreen. I, sunscreen? Sunscreen. I use sunscreen every day of my life. I feel like people on YouTube, especially the beauty community, they don't talk about the importance of sunscreen. Protect your skin from the sun, friends. I still see people laying out in the sun for like hours, and I'm like, what are you doing? You are damaging your skin. Getting a tan is not worth the damage it does to your skin. I'm sorry, it's just not. Just do some spray tan, friends. Um, that's for all my lighter friends. For all of my women of color, we don't do that. But then I feel like a lot of people in my family that are darker than I am or my skin tone, they're like, I don't need sunscreen. I have melanin. Yes, you do. Everybody needs it. So I love that sunscreen. I'll leave a link to it down below. That's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed. There's gonna be more keto stuff coming your way. <laughs> Unless you guys really hate this video, I can guarantee you, I've been talking for six minutes, there's gonna be more keto stuff, okay? Because you guys seem to really be enjoying it. If I'm correct from Instagram and your DMs, you really like the keto stuff. So maybe we could do like a before and after video. Maybe we could do like a workout video. I have a whole fitness playlist. A couple years ago, I did a like video on how to stay fit on a budget. That was so much fun to film because a lot of that video I actually filmed in Cannes in the south of France. And I showed like running upstairs or working out at home. So I'll leave a link to that playlist down below if you want to check out fitness videos. Fitness is a huge part of my life. I work out like five days a week. Been doing that for years. I love it. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out the videos on the screen and I'll see you soon.